just moments away from Kachov. Both teams seem ready to go. The Coyotes win the draw, and they'll start on the attack. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Moves it to Silverberg. Makes the save, but barely with that one. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. And that's intercepted by Zellweger. And that's knocked away. Sends the pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Here we go. Look at this. They are really applying the speed now in the offensive end. There's a save. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will hang on for a much needed stoppage. Champions won the face off here in the offensive zone. Quick feed to Chris. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Ducks cross the blue line and are on the attack. Arizona's got control of it now from their own end. Quick pass to Chris. Great save from in tight. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender a task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Shot! Scores! And they are on the board quickly in this one. Well, it's because they were ready, James. Uh, I mean, the first five strides right from puck drop were urgent. And when you're aggressive and you're urgent on the puck, you find a way to put it in. There's no way that the goaltender saw this puck. I mean, there's so much traffic net front. I mean, screens all over the place. You can see him trying to track Bob and Weave, but he can't catch up to it. The Ducks get one quickly here, and they're up early in the first. That's so important when you're the away team that you don't come out flat. You get your lines into it right away, and they're rewarded with a goal in that first quarter of the period. And now he moves it quickly to Kane. He's got a step. Scores! zone face-off. And he slides it quickly to Strom. Hammers him in the open ice. No, they didn't like that, and here we go. They're going to fight. I didn't like it because it was a dangerous play, James, and you got a player down as a result, and of course you got to respond, and it results in dropping the mitts. Well, a spirited strap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking a thrashing. <laughs> I think you're right. A wild couple of minutes there, and things have finally cooled down as both teams will settle in for the faceoff. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Through center along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Nash. Gudas works the puck in his own zone. And now he angles it across to Strom. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Slides the pass over to Kane. Skates to the crease. in the game in terms of that butterfly position and once he drops he's so agile to be able to slide across the net and they'll dump it in here's a short pass to Gudis look at this down the right wing they're on the attack and that one stopped and the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here plenty of playing time left in this frame you can Feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. 
Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Michaels, one possession. Nice dish from the left wing. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Cruz moving the puck through his own zone. The Coyotes gain control of the puck. Fantastic save! The goaltender gets the better of him this time, but man, does he ever
Silverberg's teammates love setting him up for a one time, and his best chances come from that one T zone ability. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. Here in the later stages of this period, Arizona's got a two goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. Arizona's got the puck along the boards. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Arizona's got the puck now. Taken by Kalorn. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. Both teams back on the ice are lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Gibson's been the only reason that this game is close, James. I mean, they have been under siege. There's been shots coming from everywhere, and the defense in front of them aren't doing anything to clear rebounds. They need to shore this up if they want to get back in this game. He's the reason it's so close. From one point man to another. Handles that one. Well, goaltenders love the butterfly as he drops and slides across the crease. He makes the save. Arizona's really put the pressure on here offensively, and they lead in the second. The Coyotes start with the puck in their own end. Silverberg's got it in the defensive end. And he takes the feed. Made the stop on the play. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Lots of time left in this period. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score of 3-1. Anaheim's won the defensive zone draw. Moves it over to Strom. Quick feed to Matrano. Big play inside the defensive zone. Levels him with the hit. And he slides it quickly to Crisp. He carries the puck up along the wing. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Strom. Arizona's got a hold of it along the wall. Comes up with the block. Absolutely fearless. Picked up along the boards by Vetrano. Quick pass to Lundstrom. Knocks the puck loose. The Coyotes scoop it up along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Solani. Handles the pass. Puck grabbed by Gudis. Strom's taking it from his own end. The Ducks gain possession. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Arizona's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. The Ducks take control of the faceoff. Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. And he takes a shot. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. The Ducks take it across the line. Here's a pass in front. Picked off in front. Kane stick handling in his own zone. Makes a move in front. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Gibson. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Coyotes are up 3-1. Michaels won the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, great glove save by Gibson. Gibson. 
some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Carlson's won the draw here in the defensive zone. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Directed over to Clore. They've got the defense outnumbered. Tries to get it over to Michael. Receives the pass. He's off. Comes up with the stop. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Sends the pass over. And that's a great heads up play by Lindstrom. away in the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Carlson. Anaheim's in transition. Arizona's got possession here in the neutral zone. Fires it on net, and the shot dies in the traffic jam. Puck scooped up by Lundstrom. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. More than half the period has expired. Arizona's got a 3-1 lead. The Ducks come up with a defensive zone draw. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. Keeps possession on the play. Moves it to Kalorn. Takes a shot. And that carries off a body in traffic. And makes a save. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. The Coyotes continue to lead it here in the second period. They have been very active in the offensive zone tonight. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Arizona's ready to go on the attack. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Quick feed to Lundstrom. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Here's a shot, and the save. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Collins won a big draw in their own end. Slides the puck over. And that's offside, stopping the play. Dick lands from the puck here at center. Moves it around along the half wall. Makes his presence known on the ice. Gains the zone on the left wing. Slick feed. Great reach with the poke check. Dumps the puck in. The Coyotes gain control of the puck against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Cullen. And that's picked off by Leeson. Fires it! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Quick shot. And there's another stop. Arizona's got the puck. Look out. Here they come on the attack. Denied by the goaltender. Quick pass to Fowler. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Oh, and he whiffs. Slides the puck over to Lundstrom. Tosses it on to Champion. Here's a chance! Denies him on the one-timer! Moves it on over to Strom. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, you gotta love the effort as he blocks that! And that's turned aside. Johns makes a good save and redirects the puck to the corner, and this cleans up the front of the net. Really no trash or second shot opportunity. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. Here's a chance in front, and that's intercepted. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Arizona's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they lead it here late in the second. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Oh, absolutely. 
absolutely rocked him in the corner. Forty minutes down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three next. Welcome back, James Sabalski, ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Here we go, third period is officially underway. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Ducks have been back on their heels throughout this entire game. The good part, they got 20 minutes left to play and it's a close game. They gotta find an opportunity to get a shot off, James, and that means generating speed, generating offense, and they'll only start if they can get into the offensive zone. Anaheim's looking to break out. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. That's gloved by Johns. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Lots of time left in this period. Arizona's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. And Ross got it now deep inside his own end. Arizona's got the puck against the boards. Moves it quickly over to Matrano. Centering in front. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. The Coyotes pick up steam and are on the attack. Moves it to the middle. It's Sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Oh, he hit him and caught all of it. Oh, that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Blocked in front. Picked up along the wall by Keller. Now a quick pass to Darlene. Denies him again. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. Fowler's in a lot of pain here, James. You can see it in his face as he's hobbling and laboring, trying to get back to the bench. Anytime you're injured, you want to know exactly where the play is. You don't want to put your team in a vulnerable spot, but you got to get off. Face-off coming up, and Cheryl, a critical one at that for both sides here. Well, you know that the goaltender is extremely fatigued. I mean, just look at the last shift. I mean, in their own zone, finding ways to get the puck out. And, of course, the opponent just owning play, hemming them in, and finding ways to get the puck to the net. So they got to continue that pressure. And if you're on the goaltender's side, you got to make sure you get it out of the zone and give them some rest. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Loses his balance on the play. Play. Oh, and that's bone crushing, and guess what? There's gonna be a stoppage in play, James, because that broke a pane of glass. The Coyotes can simply take this on cruise control based on the lead that they now have here in the third. Arizona's got possession here in their own end. Moves it to Brule. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. Oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Coyotes lead at 4-1. Taken along the wall by Darlene. To the low slot! How did he stop that one? Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Gets in front of that. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. The Coyotes have shown no signs of stopping, putting pucks on net, and they lead it here in this third. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. 
The Coyotes are across the line and into the offensive end. They're going to go here. Well, the tempers are flaring and changing the momentum of the game. Let's see who the winner is. Oh, I know a lot of people love watching these, but hopefully nobody's hurt here, seriously. Yeah, that's tough to watch, especially taking that last punch. It was decisive, and he went down hard. A wild couple of minutes there, and things have finally cooled down as both teams will settle in for the faceoff. The Coyotes win the faceoff. Takes the puck. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. Sends it quickly to Leeson. Oh, what a smart heads-up play. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. Scooped up along the wall by Gudis. The Ducks gain the zone. Centering pass in front, and that shot's blocked. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Well, he's showing great mobility here as he drops into the butterfly and moves across his crease with ease to make the save. Works it across to Salani. And now he moves it to Byram. Truck on that hit. Back in Inans really hearing it from the home crowd right now. They didn't like that play earlier that injured their player, and they're going to let him know it all night long. Shot! Score! tonight, James. There's a lackluster performance in all areas of the game, and now the bench is quiet. They know the effort that they've put in. Picked up along the boards by Lundstrom. Answered the call there. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Saucer pass across. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. The Coyotes are going to need to find a way to manipulate their roster construction here as they're down a player now. That's a tough loss. They're going to have to figure out a way to manage it. Thanks for that update, Cheryl, and you're right. A tough loss indeed. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. The Coyotes have definitely used the shoot-first mentality and look at the score here late. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Answer the call on that play. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to pound the puck. Nice zone entry from the left. Great hit on the play. Great reach with the poke check by Nash. Trying to engage a little physicality here. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Arizona's coaches have to be impressed from what they're seeing from their players tonight. All sorts of scoring chances, and they lead late in the third. Cruz won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Into the offensive zone. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. 
Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Great use of the stick at center by Groove. With possession along the wall. Back to the blue line. There's a stop with the blocker by Dostal. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. Stop by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. I love that he recognizes that he has the lane and he decides to take it. You have to be courageous in this fight for position because you know that the defender is going to come at you hard. you got to shield the puck, you got to have power, and you have to want to get that puck to the net. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. The Ducks have it now. Sends a pass over. He got all of that one. Up the neutral zone now. The final seconds tick away. Listen to this place. Recognize a hard-earned victory. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. The one-time rocket. Big save right in the end. It is all over. Cheryl Tyler's about as dominant of the forwards I've seen for the team. This is a good one. They hold the puck and they had possession time. And what they did with that was really effective. They hold it in small spaces, draw the coverage to them, open up a lane. And he's off to the races. And here they come back out to salute the fans. Well, this is a great feeling. I remember doing this when I was an athlete. You come back on the ice to salute the fans for cheering you on throughout the game. Just a fun night all the way around. Ain't no party like a victory party. Fun night at the rink and for all of us here at EA Sports.